Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new Walmir SK71 68% aluminum keyboard that was sent over to me by XVX themselves for my honest review. Now this keyboard is actually pretty crazy for the price. It only starts at $99.99 for a fully built aluminum keyboard that includes switches and keycaps. Is this too good to be true? Let's check it out. So inside the box you get the keyboard itself some extra keycaps, it has a dust cover over it, a wire, a keycap and switch puller, and the manual of course as well. Now the cool thing about this keyboard is that it is tri-mode connectivity, so that means it does have the 2.4 gigahertz and Bluetooth mode. And for all my Mac users out there, this does support Windows and Mac as well. Starting right off the bat with the looks, I do really like how this keyboard looks in terms of the colorway they went with. Honestly, I think these keycaps might be clones. They look very similar to a certain GMK set, but I can't really remember the name of it. So if you're not really big into clones, that could be a downside for you. There's a blue colorway, which is what I have here, a purple colorway and a black colorway as well, but that one is on pre-order. The switches included are Otemu whites and they are factory lubed and I'm happy to say that I honestly really like them. I was quite surprised to say that because I mean they are Otemus. They feel very nice and light so if you like light linears these are probably great for you. When it comes to the finish of the keyboard I do think it is on the rougher side of things. Now the keycap quality itself is pretty good. They are double shot as you can tell and they are cherry profile as well. With that being said though the design could be considered kind of a ripoff off of the Mons Geek keyboard as the side panels do have the very similar design to the Mons keyboard but I do think their implementation is a little bit worse as the keyboard when you try to pick it up on the side panels it's not deep in enough in the keyboard to be able to pick it up comfortably like the Mons Geek was so I'm not a big fan of the side profile of this keyboard because of that. Another thing I'm not a big fan of is the fact that it does come with plate mounted stabilizers depending on who you ask that might be good you know you might like plate mounted stabilizers over screw in stabilizers but the downside is is if you did want to do screw-in stabilizers, the PCB does not support screw-in stabilizers. It is, of course, south-facing, so you don't have to worry about any cherry profile interference, which is why they included cherry profile keycaps. With that all being said, here's the sound test of how it sounds right out the box. I think it sounds pretty great out of the box. I don't really have any complaints about the sound profile side of things. Now I do think the stabilizers could have been tuned better out of the box. They do have some ticking and they are pretty decently lubed. So I'm assuming they just needed to wire balance them better. I don't think you'd necessarily have to do any mods to this keyboard. I really don't. But if you did want to, the disassembly process is quite simple as all you have to do is unscrew the eight screws on the back of the keyboard and you have access to the insides. What's included is case foam, plate foam, a little plastic sheet that goes over the battery. Apparently that stops like electrostatic from occurring in an aluminum keyboard so it's pretty good to keep in there and then it has PE foam as well. If you did want to tape mod this keyboard you definitely can do so but just so you know the gasket performance might suffer because of that. With that being said though the gasket performance in this keyboard is not the greatest as the gasket they used kind of just suck. They're very thin pieces of foam that don't really have much flex or bounce to them or anything like that. They kind of just go flat. So it's not a good implementation of gaskets. Maybe you could upgrade to some different gaskets in the future. I'd probably recommend doing so. Overall, I do think this keyboard is amazing for the price point. There are definitely some downsides, of course. But with that being said, there is no aluminum keyboard kit that 
comes with switches that are factory lubed and keycaps going for $99.99. Would you take this one more keyboard over a Mons Geek since they are very similar? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you are interested in purchasing this keyboard, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.